I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Sunday, January 9th, our reading is from the third chapter of Luke, verses 15 through 17, and verses 21 and 22. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts according concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire his winnowing fork in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the shaft he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized and when Jesus also had been baptized he and was praying, the heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my son the beloved with you i am well pleased the word of the lord baptism of our lord throughout his life jesus knew who he was even as a boy jesus knew he must be about his father's business remaining in the temple as a teacher among the teachers. But God declares Jesus' identity to him again when Jesus is baptized. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. In our baptism, we have also received the declaration of God's constant blessing. Yet sometimes we don't believe it or, have, or live into it. So again and again, in preaching, in the remembrance of baptism, and in the consolation of others. God comes to us to remind us of the identity proclaimed for us in baptism, that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the Christ, cross of Christ forever. A retired pastor once put it, once put it like this, Remember who your real boss is. God is in charge, yes? And what's more, I am God's beloved child. When I remember who I am in Christ, I am better able to face whatever comes my way with a sense of calm and compassion. Our prayer. God of love, help me listen to your voice above all others today to the glory of your name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.